Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to set up custom packaging for use in Shipping Easy. Basically, if you're using any boxes that are not flat rate or regional rate straight from the post office, or you buy custom packaging, you'll need to add them manually to the application so that they're selectable when buying a label. This makes customizing Shipping Easy to your particular process a breeze. Boxes from the post office with rates attached to them such as flat rate or regional rate are already included in packaging selections and do not need to be created. So let's get started. To do this, we start by clicking Settings in the top right, then we select Package Setup in the top right here under Shipment Settings. We click Add New, then we give the box a name and some dimensions. Make sure the length is the highest of the three numbers you enter, as this is how carriers read the dimensions. The order of the height and width can be entered into whichever of the remaining fields you want. Now let's talk about the Override and Add to Weight options. If you're weighing all your packages on a scale to get their weight when they're all set up and in their packaging, you will leave the Add to Weight fields blank because they will throw off the weights you get from your scale. However, even if you are weighing everything, you still might find a use for the override weight. Basically, the override weight is what the package will weigh whenever the box is selected. It overrides all other weights and sets it to this one. An easy example of when to use override weight is, say I sell coffee and I sell a lot of one-pound bags of coffee. I ship my single quantity one-pound coffee bags in the same type of box, and I don't ship anything else in that box. I know the bag of coffee weighs one pound, and I know the box I send it in weighs four ounces. So I set the override weight for this box as one pound four ounces. Now whenever I select my one-pound coffee box, I don't need to worry about entering the weight at all, because the override weight is accurate. This is one way to reduce the manual work of weighing packages, but if you want to get your process to completely eliminate it, you're going to use the Add To Weight and a couple other settings. In order to do this, you need to make sure your weights are in your product catalog. When we recognize a product on your orders page, we'll add the weight for you. Then the Add To Weight here gets added to the weight of the product. For example, if you have your product weight set up at one pound, and you know the packaging weighs 4 ounces, set the Add To Weight as 4 ounces, and it will combine with the product weight, bringing the total package weight to 1 pound 4 ounces. See the link on your screen right now for a video on how to populate your product catalog with products and weights from your stores. So weigh the box and record the weight as the Add To Weight. The Add To Weight gets added to the total weight of the products in the order when you select this packaging when shipping. Now you have an accurate weight for the total order, eliminating the need to weigh each package on a scale. Finally, if you need to add a note about the packaging, say to other people shipping from the same account, do that here in the notes section. Click save and you're done. Remember you do not need to add flat rate or regional rate boxes or standard size envelopes on this page as they're already available. And that's it. You can find an article about this topic in our getting started guide. Just click guide at the top. Open the Basic Shipping Setup section and click Package Setup. Thanks for watching, everyone.